this is a hard pick for the these are hard picks this week. Everything was pretty good, I must say. Even the Star Wars was pretty good. Even the Star Wars was pretty good. I haven't thought I'd say that since issue two of that series came out, but I'm gonna start with least favorite to most favorite. Um, it was just it was a very difficult list. But I think my least favorite, honestly, has to be Batman and Wonder Woman. And that saying, this was a pretty good comic. And we had Batman got punched by an Amazonian bitch. And Wonder Woman's like, you get that shit out of here. And then they fought some mud thing. And Raish still has Damien and Talia's bodies. Not a lot happened, though. That's why this gets low on the list. It gets a 3 out of 5 stars. Moving on to the other DC. We got Supergirl num issue 30. Supergirl issue 30 just felt like filler, and that's why it's low on this list. However, it was entertaining filler. We learn a little bit about Supergirl and what she saw in the blood pit, which if you haven't read Supergirl issues 7 and 8, I think. I think it's just 7. You won't know about the world killers, so you need to read that before this. And I'm excited for Red Lantern 30, which is going to continue where this left off. And stuff's going to get... shit's going to happen. I give this uh, 4 out of 5 stars. Moving on to Marvel. Miss Marvel. Number 3. Um... This gets high on the list because it's the only superhero book I have right now where the superhero doesn't understand her powers. She's having difficulty controlling him, and that's probably the most entertaining part of it. And I don't really care about Kamala so much at the moment. I know I hate to say that, but I don't care. I'm just more fascinated how she controls her powers. And there's a twist ending in this. And, ooh, I can't spoil that for you guys. I can't. That'd be cruel and unusual. It gets a 4 out of 5 stars. It's on par with Supergirl. Next, moving on to the shocking pick for this week. The Star Wars issue 7 of 8. The Star Wars... Finally, we got Chewbacca in there. That's... Uh, um, and it's starting to resemble an actual plot. Which the last four issues haven't done at all. It's just been crap after crap after even more diarrhea and a crap again. And this was pretty good. Yeah, stuff I like. Torture. Wookiees. Wookiees acting like Ewoks, which believe I thought I wouldn't like, but it's funny as fuck. Murder. Stuff get something got cut in half. It's just a mishmash of cool stuff. And I'm excited to see how this concludes next month. I really am. Really, really excited. This gets four and a half out of five stars. Because it's a miracle. I actually got excited for this. And then my pick of the week. Amazing X-Men issue six. Now, a st funny story about this. A buddy of mine showed up to the college enrolling that I haven't seen since I graduated. And I started talking to him and stuff, and he interrupted me in the middle of this book, and I'm like, oh, I don't want to, because I didn't want to put it down. So this was just a fun read. We got Nightcrawler dealing with his mom and his dad in this issue, and also probably one of the most interesting um, things I've seen in a book in a while. As I said in the last, my last comic review, I did not care for the part in Nightcrawler issue 1 where it went to Wolverine's solo story. Well, we had a similar event in this. Cyclops shows up with the all-new X-Men, and Wolverine and him looked like they were going to get into a fight, and Nightcrawler stops and he says, Hey, I know you killed Xavier, and then hugs him. And I'm like, oh good, Nightcrawler, you're the best character. You got what was going to be a really obnoxious fight, and... Just made it go away. And I really am enjoying this amazing X-Men. And we still got Jason Aaron right again. So yeah. Five out of five stars. Avoided a problem. And we got a nice new story arc. Now. Next week is going to be a pain in the ass. And I really mean it. 
I've got so much shit coming out next week that I don't think I'm going to pick it up. In fact, all of it up. In fact, I'm pretty sure at this point I'm dropping Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider is probably the worst book I pick up. It's worse than the Star Wars. So, yeah. Um, what am I looking for? I think the biggest thing I'm looking forward to is Rogue Trooper, issue 3, and then Red Lanterns, issue 30. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, have a nice day. And who knows what's going to happen tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know.